What's powerful enough to crush objects, burst glass containers, and power our homes? The answer is hydrostatic pressure. To see what pressure really is and what we can do with it, I've teamed up with AJ Fillo of LibLab. Hi, Nicole. Hey, AJ. You ready to get started? Let's do this. <laughs> Hold on. What, what just happened here? I broke this bottle with pressure. No, not that. The sirens and the, the words. Don't you, doesn't that normally happen in post? What are, you, what are you talking about? That... That... Always happens. Do, 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 doesn't it? No. To figure out what pressure is and how it works, let's take a close look inside our container of water. It's full of water molecules, and when we add energy to the system, there are a few ways for that energy to be stored. It can be stored vibrationally, rotationally, translationally, and electronically. Today we're really only interested in those first three. If we add heat energy and it goes into the vibration or rotation of molecules, that's known as temperature. But if we added work energy by, say, compressing the mixture, that energy goes into how the molecules can translate relative to one another. It makes them more likely to bounce off each other and the sides of whatever container they're in. This exerts an increased force on a given area of the container. If we zoom back out and look at the water as a bulk fluid instead of a bunch of atoms, we call this pressure and write it as a force per area. When AJ struck the bottle, the force of his swing was transmitted through the area of the stopper, adding work energy to the bottle and generating pressure. That increase in pressure was felt everywhere in the container, and ultimately it was more than the bottle could withstand. That extra pressure caused the bottle to break. The main thing that is important in all of this is energy. Like temperature, pressure is an indicator of the relative amount of energy contained in a fluid. If we add potential energy by increasing a fluid's depth, we can use gravity to increase its pressure. This is true regardless of the container the fluid is held in. It doesn't matter how much mass the water has, how big or small a container the water is in, or what shape that container is. As long as the total depth of water is the same, the pressure will be the same. For a fluid that's not in motion, pressure is described by Stevens Law. It says that pressure is equal to the fluid density times the gravitational acceleration, times the height of the fluid. So although pressure acts throughout a volume, it is strictly a function of height. And you can see that in this leaky bottle demonstration, where the pressure is lower at the top hole than it is at the bottom hole. And so as a result, the pressure at the bottom hole shoots the water out further than the pressure at the top hole. One thing that's conspicuously absent from any of this is a mention of volume. That's because, as counterintuitive as it seems, volume has no effect on pressure. That's right, and you can see that if I use a smaller diameter bottle. The holes in both of these bottles are at the same height. So, when I release the water, they should travel the same distance, regardless of the volume, because it only matters on the depth of the fluid. Sure enough, the volume of the bottles has no effect. Only the height of the fluid matters. You know this from your own experience as well. When you're swimming, the pressure you feel doesn't depend on whether you're in a pool or an ocean. What matters is how deep you dive. So these small-scale demos do a nice job of demonstrating the physics of pressure, but how can we scale this up? Oh, I have an idea. Hold on. <laughs> so I, uh... I don't quite know how we got here, but today we're at the Oregon Coast Aquarium to show you how it is that pressure depends on the height of a fluid. AJ has lined up a couple of scientific divers to help us out by taking this ball and a few other objects down to depth. Sea lions! I love the aquarium. So, uh, you ready to do this? Yeah. Let's All right, let's it. go. We're here at the top of an aquarium tank. Behind me, the Oregon State University science diving team is getting ready to help us do a demo. We've got a couple objects, and like this balloon, this dodgeball, and uh, this water jug that they're going to take down to the bottom of the tank to show what happens to these objects under pressure. So we're here in the aquarium tunnel, a little over 16 feet or about 5 meters below the surface of the water. And as the divers descend and the pressure increases due to the increasing depth, we will see how these different objects change. We'll see how the jug collapses, the balloon shrinks out of its hoop, and the dodgeball gets squished. 
Now, the pressure acting on these objects to crush them is also acting on everything through the tank all at once, including the divers. So because of this, the divers have to take special precautions to maintain their safety and make sure they're not injured by the pressure increase as they dive. Today we showed you that pressure is strictly a function of height by dragging this ball down to the depths of the aquarium. To really drive this idea home, over on Lib Lab, we blow up a five gallon carboy using only this much water and a three quarter inch tube that's over a hundred feet high using only pressure developed from gravity. It's uh, pretty awesome and the video is in the link in the description. You should check it out. It's a blast. We worked with the Corvallis Fire Department to uh, pull this off. They were kind enough to let us use their ladder truck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more because we have a lot more to come. This is only the first two videos in a six part series. So we got a lot more work to do, AJ. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. And please be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from FYFD and Lib Lab. AJ has lined up some scientific divers to help us out by taking some yeah. sea lions. This ball and a few other objects down to depth for us.